actually think that like women like to be cheated on. Huh? Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Welcome back to Everything Lynn. I'm Lynn. On this platform, we discuss trending topics, and I also just um, give life advice based off of my own life experiences. I also have a playlist where I um, talk, talk you through my lock journey. My hair type is 4A and fine. I have no real new updates about that as of now. Um, I'm going through a phase. <laughs> And um, I am going to be doing my first professional retwist this coming week, so expect a video on that coming soon. Okay, let's get right into this video. Now, Pearl is a content creator on this here app. She has about 1.3 million subscribers. She's been nicknamed the female Andrew Tate and has been stepping on a lot of women's toes on her rise to popularity. Um, a lot of times when women see her, they go completely feral, right? <laughs> Straight up Joker style. They do not like the girl. I myself have come across some of her content. And while there's some things that she says that I'm like, okay, I can see that. There are a lot more things that she says that screams to me, manipulative panderer. Now, in the times of Derek Jackson, I distinctly remember many people, men and women alike, mostly men, hollering about pandering and how he was a panderer. And I've just, I've just been wondering, where is that same energy for this woman? One thing that I see about Pearl that I don't particularly jive with, and I've seen a lot of other women complain about, is her lack of gray area. There's simply no nuance when it comes to any situations that she brings up pertaining to women. I've learned when it comes to human relations, you know, relationships, it's good to live in a land of gray because there are very rare and few instances where someone has been all right and someone has been all wrong. With Pearl, it just seems that women are always wrong all the time. And in this show, I just get a lot of flack from bitter women, honestly, because we talk about things from the men's point of view a lot of times. And we'll talk about things that specifically affect men. So like, for example, men only get custody of their children 10% of the time. 90% of alimony, alimony cases are where men are paying. Men make up the majority of suicides, et cetera, et cetera. So I had a post about a year and a half ago talking about how modern women want to be victims. Now, let me tell you the context behind this post. I noticed after talking to women after women after women that modern women just love being goddamn victim. Every breakup, their ex is a narcissist. Every time something happened, it was trauma. Bitch, trauma is supposed to be about war. Wartime. That's trauma. Now, you're trying to use the same word. We talk about soldiers that went to war and came back and have trauma. You're talking about because Tyrone cheated on you? Five times? Like, come on. Second observation I had was that women will accuse their ex of abuse with no evidence, no proof, and they never went to the police. I'm sorry. If somebody punches me in the face and I don't go to the police, you're crazy. I, nobody's punching me, and I'm not going to the police. And so I had this post, right? And I said, modern women want to be victims. Based on these observations, I said, modern women love being the victim. Modern vi women are always playing victim. Do you think divorce is fun? That the, because they're college educated and they hate men, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to divorce because I, I hate all men. Like, I why mean, do you think I, they're going to get a divorce? I think women divorce for no reason all the time. <clears throat> okay, no that's, good that's, reason. that's, yeah. that's absolutely. Yeah, I you just need to talk honestly, to more people then because honestly, that's not true. I talk to people every, you don't, you don't four talk, days a week you, for no, no. a year. Yeah. I actually think that like women like to be cheated on. Huh? <laughs> Wait, every time I ask the girls on the show, it'll be like, we'll talk about cheating, right? They'll bring up their ex that cheated. But my next question is always like, did you stay? And the qu they always say yes. And when I first heard this, I thought it was crazy. I was like, there's no way girls it's like this stuff. It's more similar to an addiction. It's the roller coaster, and then they go back because they miss. Yeah. Did any of them tell you they liked being cheated on? I mean, they didn't say that, but their actions, it's like... A lot of women like to stay in a relationships, so do they like it because they stay there? <sighs> um... See, I feel like this is like a trap question. It's like a trap. It's like this <laughs> is what they do. They try to trap you. Do you think addicts like to be addicts? Honestly, I think some addicts do. <laughs> So as you can see, based off of these videos, a woman never has a good rhyme or reason for doing the thing that she does as it pertains to men. If she files for a divorce, it's because she didn't like doing chores. If she is being abused and stays in the relationship, it's because she likes it. Never mind the countless articles that specifically state that the most dangerous time for an abuse victim is for when she's trying to leave her abuser. Do you perhaps have trauma or have experienced trauma from being in relationships or while dating? Well, 
<laughs> Too bad. That's only reserved for vets, said Pearl unwittingly to countless SA victims. She spreads very harmful misinformation and is only to the detriment of women. And don't bother debating her on one of her podcasts as a woman. She's got countless studies to back up the things that she says when it comes to men. But when it doesn't suit her argument, suddenly she doesn't believe in the studies and the science backing up somebody else's argument. I'm but, not gonna say I'm an expert in studies. I just feel like like studies will tell you water isn't wet. Mm -hmm. I don't know I don't why you know. keep saying that. It's this is like the it's like something that somebody's never read a study before says like well a study will tell you anything. No, it won't. Studies by reputable sources published in reputable journals that have repeatable results don't just say anything. That's not true. She's been hailed as this glorified female Andrew Tate when really she just graduated from Kevin Samuels University. Let's be real. All the woman does is regurgitate things from his old videos. Women need to take accountability. That's a trigger point right there. Guilt, insult, shame need to be right. She says that so many times and I'm like, <laughs> did Kevin Samuels not always say things like this? This woman does not have one original thought when it comes to women. She has a formula for trigger points of dejected, rejected, he-man woman haters, and y'all just eat it up because validation is one hell of a drug. But you gotta start thinking, like, is someone exploiting your sore spots really helping you or anyone really? Which brings me to my next point. Derek Jackson, which is in most instances a certified panderer. Yes, I agree. There were a lot of things he would say and I'd be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we weren't right there, but somehow he made us right. And I don't know if I want to listen to him. But there were a lot of instances where he pointed out a dating issue and offered resolve or solution. With Pearl, it's just hoes, am I right? Them bitches be tripping. It's just more sucking you into this negative echo chamber of your emotions. And while it's validating, I just don't see how that's helpful. Someone pandering to you does you a lot more disservice than you'd think. Instead of identifying maybe what mistakes you've made or how to identify people who might be out there trying to manipulate you, use you, or um, do wrong by you. Like there's a lot to gain from like assessing that. But how will you ever grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if someone's just like, you're right, you're always right, it was them. Even in the cases when you were wrong or misinformed. Pandering keeps us as a collective very much stuck. And while I understand that yes, there are a lot of hardships that men face that are unique to men. I can't get behind a lot of what Pearl says because very little of it is actually helpful. It's just everything women do wrong in relationships and that's it. I noticed too, I would be very careful um, following behind Pearl so much because I Pearl doesn't even really stand 10 toes down about things that she says. At this point, I just think she'll say whatever it is that she needs to say that will get the most eyes on her. Because when blue hair enters the room, it's stuttering, mumbling, and silent. I find it very interesting that when it comes to this one man that doesn't validate her viewpoints in a podcast, suddenly she's got nothing to refute to refute them. This is a woman who has a lot to say when it comes to bombarding other women, but when he enters the room and the male validation that she's seeking is not coming from him, suddenly she's hush mouth and that says a lot. All in all though, <laughs> I think Pearl is a very smart girl, actually. She saw a market for her niche and she filled it. It turns out pandering to unhealed people is extremely profitable. A lot of people claim to be open-minded and level-headed, but if you look at the reality of things, people really love being surrounded by yes men or finding heroes out of people who don't normally fit the physical um, aspects of their ideation, of their thoughts, so that it suddenly makes it okay for them to have these thoughts. That's why people like Candace Owens are so popular. In this instance, Pearl, Derek Jackson. It's so that people can say, well, look, I have somebody that's even on your team that's saying the opposite, so I must be right. Let's not get this video confused. I wish no ill will on Miss Pearl. Even though I don't necessarily like everything that she stands for, I may not, 
I've never met her, so I can't say that I don't like her as a person. Even though I highly disagree with her whole persona on a fundamental level, I can't knock her hustle. I understand hustles. I understand people, you know, sometimes they get to the bag how they're going to get to the bag. But we need to understand that a panderer is a panderer is a panderer. And so I just wanted the gentlemen that had the same energy that they had for Derek Jackson to have a little bit of this same energy for Miss Pearl. What do you guys think in the comments? I look forward to reading them. Of course, I know I'm gonna get the, oh, you're just a hater. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, come at me. Come at me with something a bit smarter than that, please. I hate looking at comments where I am wasting brain cells because like some of y'all, some of y'all don't even make sense when you type. Like, look at what you're typing before you type it and then press send maybe so that we can have an open discussion. Um, if you just come out here and, oh, you're just this and you're just that, I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. I am, sure, whatever makes, whatever fruits your loops, you know? But other than that, <laughs> leave some, leave some good comments. Give me some, you know, give me the joie de vivre. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Sometimes when you talk, it sounds like La La Land, respectfully. I mean, I mean, just because you'll talk about these guys and I'm like, these men aren't real. <laughs> See, the one man sees the beauty is talking about the beauty in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but why can't I have a guy that sees the beauty in the Grand Canyon? Why, why would I want someone that doesn't see the beauty in the Grand Canyon? Why can't, why can't I have a millionaire? <laughs> but he doesn't see the beauty in the Grand Canyon?